So there is one of those really misquoted uh, Bible verses that maybe we should talk about. It is, uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And it's, it's totally in the Bible. It's in Philippians. But but here's the thing. Uh, most of the time we quote it, uh, it, it's not so that we can do all things. Everybody who's quoting, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, is trying desperately, desperately to not suffer. They're trying to not be able to have to do all things. If I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, how can I avoid doing those things? You see how we're, we're doing it a little bit backwards. Paul, as he writes this thing, is actually writing uh, from prison, I think. He, he's writing in the midst of suffering to a people who are suffering. He is not saying, if you have enough Jesus, you will never hurt because you can somehow escape that hurt. He is saying, you, you, you are in Christ, so strong, so whole, so unconquerable that you can even suffer. You can suffer through Christ who strengthened you because suffering is not the end. Suffering cannot peel away your salvation. It cannot peel away your life. It cannot peel away your hope. Rather, these are the very things that now suddenly bind us closer to Christ who suffered for us. Loss is not kept uh, oh, permanently now. When we, when we lose people in this world, we can look forward to the resurrection where we will see them again. And so we can mourn even though we will not mourn as others do who have no hope. When we say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, that is not an attempt to get out of doing most of them, but rather a, a, a bold challenge that there is nothing in the world that Satan can throw at you that can overwhelm our Lord. And so in him, there's nothing that can overwhelm you, even when it's completely overwhelming for you and you desperately don't want to have to do that thing. You get to fall back on this Philippians verse that everybody misuses as a chance to somehow avoid weakness and say, I can even be weak. I can be overwhelmed. I can be completely at a loss. I can be completely, completely in despair and recognize that if I have Christ, I have enough. I have him who answers my despair, my, my anxiety, my hopelessness my sloth with with a promise that he has already carved through the tomb and back out again the answer the resurrection the life that is mine today and he has baptized me into it he has baptized you as well so now when you hear that verse you can stop applying it only to good things and recognize that it even applies to the bad ones because you don't need to be so afraid of them anymore if christ has already given you the victory over them so in christ you can do all things because he strengthened you